drop, pin and drop. So when you're at Rikers, an interesting thing happens, right? You get to witness uh, one of the greatest ever begin to climb to fame. Uh, you got to witness Pun perform. <laughs> well, this was this was an HDM. HDM, they used to like reward whichever block had the least stabbings or like if you didn't get no fights, no stabbings, no cuttings, that would reward us with going to the yard to see a performance. Or if it wasn't that many, I think when Pun came, it was inside in the inside gym. We saw him inside gym. But like I said, the first time I saw him perform, I didn't know who they were. I didn't know who he was. Um, they was rapping about like like satanic shit. Like, um, when you say they, who are you talking about? Uh, I believe it was Triple Says. Um, somebody else was there. I know Cuban was there. The only reason I know Cuban was there is because I've been thinking about it, and I remember one of them had a brolic ass chain, and dudes was talking shit about, oh that shit, da 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 da. And I remember that shit. I think me and Cuban had spoke about that shit a couple of times, but he'd been to Rikers a few times to perform. But um, honestly, I've never seen somebody so big spit that way. Like, it was like... Pause. Yeah, pause. I mean... Uh, <laughs> you, you get to the age where you're so old now where, like, I, I, is that Yo, true? You know what's crazy, bro? Like, I, I'm going to be real. The only time I do that pause game, it'd be, like, at work because it'd be, like, you know, somebody will say some dumb shit and now the new thing is no ditty. Right. But I'd be so... Bro, I don't play those games. Like, I don't play DWAP games. I don't... I don't invite people. If I invite somebody to, to, to the joint, it's because I want you to throw your hands up. Like, I come from that school. Like, I, I don't, you know, I, it's right. a game that I'm not used to playing no more. But since we on that subject, we're going to move on. <laughs> right. But I, I don't play the D-WAP games. It's, it's just, it's never, you know. But um, he was a large dude. He was a very large um, guy in size and <laughs> weight. <laughs> um, <laughs> fucking guy, bro. This fucking guy now got me fucking watching my words. But um, and the fucking way that he was rapping with the control he had was crazy, bro. Cause you know how I've heard stories that like I've never been in, inside of a studio with him. I've never been there, so I can never. But I've heard that he goes bar. Punch, bar, punch, bar, punch, bar, punch. Like, you know, he has to pause in between, spin a verse. I heard but, that was uh, uh, more often towards the end of his career because he got so big, like even bigger than before. Oh, okay. So that you makes know? sense. Yeah. Because when he was spitting, he was fucking... It was, it, it was something that was like... It, it made you pay attention. Like, you know, first of all, his, his demeanor alone makes you like the fuck is this going because like i said he wasn't a he was a big he was a big guy bro he, he was definitely a uh a, a oversized gentleman um and and then at the time the other dudes that was with him were very small and skinny and and it was it, it, it's just he just stood out you know what i'm saying and the way he he, he rapped was crazy um and then you the seeing that time. he was a latino it really stood out too, well, right? Like I said, look, the la the Latin thing, like the first time I think I heard um was off the books with uh, the Beat Nuts, which again, that's one of my favorite uh groups, you know what I'm saying, that I feel that But this is before then though, right? This is before off the books? This is way before off the books. This is right, way right, way right. Before that. But honestly, I didn't even know who Pum was. Like I, I this is I think this is when they was doing their first run to to get them because look the first time the first show that they brought over there was um it was a Panamanian artist called General he's the one that used to have that song boom boom mommy 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 but I, I don't know if you remember that that when the first reggae Spanish reggae came out mm -hmm. his name was El uh, General they brought him to perform they had uh what's the dude's name uh it was some it was a couple of other dudes that was there 
but it wasn't nobody like that was in the um uh, that was on the radio or nobody that was well well known. It was all like up and coming acts at the time. The only act that we saw at the time that was already had a name for themselves was when they brought Wu Tang. When they brought Wu Tang and they performed in the big yard and old dirty bastard was locked up and he takes the stage and he he starts with the O thirty one dog and shit just a fucking riot popped off and I think that was the last time that they ever did a a performance at that time. I don't know if they started doing them afterwards, but that was one of the last that was the last show when I was on the island, that was the last show that ever ever go on because this shit turned into a fucking riot in that yard. That was that shit was ugly. That shit got ugly. Um but yeah, like I didn't know who Pum was and then when I came home um, my man put me on to the, to the whole be- the beat nuts. It was the, the the off the the off the book off the books, whatever that song, and that shit was fire. And it's mm-hmm. like you know, it's it's just it was just a, it's a good feeling when you see people that look just like you doing the same thing that you love and you like to, you know what I'm saying? It, it was it was dope. It was dope. You know what I'm saying? And we finally had somebody that was respected in the hip in the hip hop community. Not doing hip hop, respected by the peers and that were in the hip hop community. It was pretty dope. You know what I mean? Cause you yes. also had a lot of half breeds like that didn't really like Nori. Nori's half Puerto Rican. You know, you got a bunch of other dudes that's half Puerto Rican, but a lot of them like Nori always acknowledges it. That's one thing he always acknowledges is Puerto Rican side. But a lot of other dudes don't don't acknowledge that they have Puerto Rican or this or that. It's always like you know, it, it's just it's just weird. The 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 shit is weird, right? 